it's me, Pastor Connie. I'm glad to see you back here again. Are you ready for today's worship? Perfect. Let's begin. Welcome to worship for the week of September 25th, 2022. I can hardly believe that it's the end of September, almost the beginning of October already. This year is going fast. Pastor's Choice is the theme for today's hymn, so be prepared. You just never know what I might pick. With that said, let's start our worship together. If you will please join me in the call to worship, which is responsive, and your words will be printed right over here by the side of the screen. Welcome, children of God, to the house of the Holy One. We are invited to find hope and inspiration as we sing praises together today. Here, our worship is genuine, because if it's not, it's just a waste of time. Come to this place and time of promise. We are becoming the house of hope, the field of sunflowers, the vineyard of great caring. Come to a shared commitment and to an abundance possible for all people. We are an earthenware jar, keeping safe the tomorrows of all God's children. Our security question is the Word of God, and our password is love. And now if you'll join me in today's hymn, remember I told you, it's Pastor's Choice, so I picked one that we I know we've sung once or twice before. So please join Basil and me as we sing, Rejoice, the Lord is King. Rejoice, the Lord is King, your Lord and King adore. Mortals give thanks and sing, and triumph evermore. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Jesus the Saviour reigns, the God of truth and love. When he had put our stains, he took his seat above. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, rejoice. His kingdom cannot fail, He rules o'er earth and hell. The keys of death and hell are to our Jesus give. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Sits at God's right hand till all his foes submit and bow to his command and fall beneath his feet. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, 
continuing our discussion series by looking at the lives of each original disciple who became Jesus's apostolic messengers to the world. By exploring their individual lives, we can better understand their post-Pentecost journeys as they spread the way, also known as the Good News Jesus. These discussions are now available as separate videos here on this YouTube channel under the Disciples slash Apostles playlist. Please feel free to check out these videos and follow our discussions. Now with that said, let's look at all the lectionary scriptures for this week. We will hear a few words from the Old Testament from the book of Psalms, as well as the epistles and gospels from the New Testament. So let's listen to the word of God. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the 10th year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the 18th year of Nebuchadnezzar. The army of the king of Babylon was then besieging Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was confined in the courtyard of the guard in the royal palace of Judah. Now Zedekiah, king of Judah, had imprisoned him there, saying, Why do you prophesy as you do? You say, this is what the Lord says. I'm about to give this city into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he will capture it. Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came to me. Hanamel, son of Shalom, your uncle, is going to come to you and say, Buy my field at Anathoth, because as nearest relative, it is your right and duty to buy it. Then, just as the Lord had said, my cousin Hanamel came to me in the courtyard of the guard and said, Buy my field at Anathoth in the territory of Benjamin. Since it is your right to redeem it and possess it, buy it for yourself. I knew that this was the word of the Lord. So I bought the field at Anathoth from my cousin Hanamel and weighed out for him 17 shekels of silver. I signed and sealed the deed, had it witnessed, and weighed out the silver on the scales. I took the deed of purchase, the sealed copy containing the terms and conditions, as well as the unsealed copy, and I gave this deed to Barak, son of Neriah, the son of Maseah, in the presence of my cousin Hanamel, and of the witnesses who had signed the deed, and of all the Jews sitting in the courtyard of the guard. In their presence, I gave Barak these instructions. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Take these documents, both the sealed and the unsealed copies of the deed of purchase, and put them in a clay jar so they will last a long time. For this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Houses, fields, and vineyards will again be bought in this land. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. 
He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap, and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. In the sight of God, who gives life to everything, and of Christ Jesus, who while testifying before Pontius Pilate made the good confession, I charge you to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which God will bring about in his own time. God, the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light whom no one has seen or can see, to him be honor and might forever. Amen. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things. While Lazarus received bad things. Please. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, Send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. Father Abraham, he said. But if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead.
Please join me in the people's prayers. God is close to all who pray with confidence and expectation. So join me with honesty and sincerity during this time because God is among us and here's our prayers. Let us pray. Sustaining God, you call us to give up the things we cling to and to give ourselves wholeheartedly to your purposes. We confess that we don't always find this easy to do and we often don't let go of earthly things we love. But we also know that you never ask more of us than what is possible and that you stand ready to provide everything we need. Give us courage to faithfully follow your leading even when the path before us seems impossible to comprehend and we cannot see the outcome. We pray for all of those in our hearts and on our minds using the words you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let's close today's worship with a pastoral blessing. May you be as blessed as Jeremiah with a word from God whispered in your ear while you are waiting, a glimpse of freedom when you are confined, a friend to show you the way forward, and an earthenware jar of God's love in which your signature is precious. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord's countenance rest safely on you and give you peace. Amen. Now I know this is your most favorite part, the people's sung response. We'll sing it to Amazing Grace. The words will be right over here. Just follow along with me. Me, 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 me. Okay, I had to swallow. <laughs> it's okay. I'm leaving that in the tape. The love of God with peace and joy with each of us attend and guide our ways through coming days until we meet again. Go in peace. I want to thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Hey YouTubers, if that singing doesn't generate a bunch of comments, then I don't know what's going on. Thanks for sticking around until the end. Remember, if this is your first time here, this channel provides worship and discussion videos which you can watch at any time and any place. Nothing too heavy or intense, just videos tailored for you. If you like this channel, give it a little hallelujah click to the like and the subscribe buttons down below. I would appreciate that and don't forget to tap on the notification bell so you can know when more worship discussion videos are posted and one last thing always remember that your attitude is the attitude that can change your world and the world around you so have a good attitude okay thanks again for watching I really appreciate it so go have a blessed day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!